Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Watch and learn. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to do a time freeze effect in Avid Studio. So, let's get into it. First thing you need to do is you need to have a tripod to do this effect. So, you want to have a tripod, have it set up in one position, don't move it. Do both of your takes together. Hit record. Do not stop until you do both of your takes. Now, what you're going to do on your takes is you're going to do one take of the subject. Just doing whatever you want to do. Jumping up in the air, falling down, whatever. Here you'll see that I did a take of the subject falling down. Then, what I did was I went ahead and I did not press stop. As you can see, I just walked to the other room, came back out, and walked around where the subject would be so I did all of that in one take like I said with a tripod sitting in one place I did not stop the recorder the reason why you don't want to stop it is because it could change the light a little bit and then you'll have to do some uh, correcting of the lighting you still may have to but in most cases you shouldn't so once I have my two takes I'm gonna split my clips where I need them split so first I have my subject walking into the scene And I don't need that, so I'm going to split that. I'm going to remove it. Then I have my subject getting up and falling down. So I'm going to stop it at a position where I think is good for the time freeze to take a place. And I'm going to split my clip there. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the clip and go to open effects editor and right on, since it's on the scene where I want the time freeze to take effect, I'm going to click on corrections. I'm going to click on snapshot and I'm going to take a snapshot of this by clicking on apply and it's going to save it in your pictures. So now that I'm done with that snapshot, I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to leave this like it is and I'm going to move forward to where the subject falls down and gets up because this is the end of the shot and walks into the other room. I'm going to split it here and I'm actually going to take this clip and move it behind the other clip because as you'll see this middle clip is where he's going to be walking around the subject so for this clip I need this in the middle walks around the subject walks back and leaves the room and I'm going to split it again here when he's out of the room and I'm going to remove this piece that would be the, the end so now what I have is subject getting up falling then I have the subject walking in and walking around and then you'll see I have the subject again finishing the fall. So what I need here in the middle to put above the timeline is the picture that I made. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab that off of the pictures section of my video here and I'm going to put it where I want it just because I want it in a specific area. Now what I'm going to do with this picture, as you can see I have two of them here, I'm going to create a PNG image. Either it created it in a JPEG, I'm going to make it into a PNG. I already showed you how to make a PNG image, so I'm not going to go into all that again. But you can make a PNG image with uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements or Adobe Photoshop or Paint.net. Paint.net is free, so you can go in there and make a PNG image. And you can watch my video on my other channel. There's a link to it above. Um, on the top of this video right now and it has the link to how to create a PNG image in Adobe Photoshop Elements. You can use it as a guide even if you're going to do it in paint.net. One other thing, if there are any shadows in your picture, make sure that you leave the shadows in. Now you can see that I don't have any shadows to worry about around my subject, okay, because of the lighting that I use. But if you have a shadow going off that's a shadow of the subject, you need to include that because it's going to make it look more realistic if you include the shadow. If you take the shadow out, 
it's not going to look real. People are going to be able to tell. I mean, it could look kind of real, but it'll look better if you leave the shadow in. So well, if I go to my photos here, you'll see I have the PNG image. Now, the PNG image that I created, everything is black. Now, all of this black around the subject, you'll be able to see the video underneath. So all it's going to show is the frozen individual and then it'll show the individual walking around up. So what I'm going to do is take this and drop it into position and stretch it out the whole time the individual is walking around the subject. So what it does is it actually makes a chain between where the individual started to fall, the freeze, and then where the individual falls back down. So you actually have that chain going on and the individual walking underneath. So then you get the good shot of everything that you want. You go ahead and add your sound effects or whatever you want to it and you're good to go. That's it. How to create a time freeze effect in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.